If it's your first time getting a pre-built Iris keyboard, I'll walk you through the process and explain some terms. Each keyboard has additions unique to that individual keyboard, which is why there's a video for each pre-built. PCB revision. The Rev6 is fully hot swapped and has per key RGB. The only soldering that would be needed is if you'd like to have rotary encoders on your iris. Check the Kibio Trello status board for other PCB updates on stock. Switches. We carry clicky, linear, and tactile switches. As with the PCBs, keep up with our Trello status board for the most up-to-date stock. You can select customer supplied if you want us to install your switches for you, or you can let us know not to install any switches by choosing self-install. Plates. Here's where you can get choosy about your aesthetic of your keyboard. Do keep in mind that the acrylic plates, FR4 plates, and stainless steel plates have slightly differing thicknesses. Middle layer. A middle layer can add that extra lighting flare to your iris if that's an aesthetic you want. A middle layer with tinting holes will also give you the chance to make your iris even more ergonomic so you can tilt it to be more friendly to your wrists. Left, right, thumb area. If you'd like a rotary encoder on your iris, here's where you let us know about it. By selecting one U key and rotary encoder, a new field will appear asking what color of knob you'd like on your encoder. Cable. If you want to complete the whole shebang with the cable to connect your iris halves, this is where you can pick one out. We have white and black in 30 centimeters and the same colors in one meter or more. All right, that's it from me. Hope this helps keep your keyboard order smooth. Kayla from Kibio, over and out.